All right, okay, we st stay with the theme of Zimbabwe and uh, authorities in the country. Well, you'll have uh, heard and seen this week they've fired hundreds of uh, medical doctors who were on strike for more than two months after calling for a pay rise and better working conditions. The doctors earn roughly 1,200 uh, Zimbabwe dollars per month, which at the current exchange rate works out to just over 1,100 rand a month. Now, the country's health services board launched a disciplinary hearing at the start of November. For more on this, we're now joined by Dr. Prince Butau. Uh, Dr. Butau, thanks so much for joining us. Welcome to the program. Um, so what is the situation at the moment with uh, many of the doctors? Some have returned to work, but by far the majority uh, are either fired or still on strike. Is that the case? Hello, Dr. Butal, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Ah, oh, great. All right. Um, I was just say, saying, you know, if you could just give us a sense of uh, what's happening right now. Uh, the doctors that have been on strike, many, have they still fired? And uh, some have returned to work. What is the situation? Yes, that's true. Currently, a lot of, uh, uh, most of the doctors, uh, more than 400 doctors is, uh, have been fired currently, and we are still fired at the moment. We have not returned to work at the moment on the ground. So what is it at Hello? issue here? Is it just pay, or are there other concerns that you have that uh, you want the government to address? Well, um, mainly for us junior doctors, we are saying that we are not capacitated to report for duty, which means that we cannot even afford to attend to our patients. We do not have uh, the means to, to attend uh, to, our, to our patients. We do not have the means to commute com, to, to, commute to work. Uh, we are also saying that even though if we government is with some offers, which they are saying they can even provide transport to work, we are saying that the hospitals are not also capacity. Our seniors are all complaining that the hospitals are not capacitated at the moment. So we are saying that we want to be capacitated as doctors first, also as the um, hospital they should be capacitated before we send away. Mm. That's our concern. That we all only want to start. We are fighting for ourselves. We are also fighting for the That is so, so We are saying that the hospitals are not capacitated currently at the moment. So the Higher Life Foundation says that uh, they're giving you an allowance if you report for duty on Monday. Is that something you would consider? Mm, the Higher Life uh, offer, it's an offer that we appreciate. We appreciate for the effort uh, that they have made. But we are saying that we need a long-lasting solution. A real way that last year by this time, we were also on strike, demanding, peddling the same the same issues that we are saying, uh, we, this, this issue should be addressed by the government, but nothing is materialized. In. So we are saying that we as doctors, we are tired of repeated or recurring strikes. We need these issues to be solved once and for all. We need the government to find permanent solution, lasting solution at the moment. We are tired of promises that are being made. So we are saying the ILS, the ILS offer is only uh, for six months. It's only for six months, mm. and we don't. Oh dear. Okay, it looks like we've uh, lost uh, that line there. That was uh, Prince Patel, who's with the uh, 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 Senior Doctors Association in Zimbabwe. Uh, we're going to, uh, I hope we can try and get him back, but uh, if not, I think the situation there is pretty dire for the doctors. Uh, they're saying that they are not capacitated to do their job, and that talks about uh, just having medicines, uh, the tools that they need to do their work, and often being called to do work that uh, they are not yet qualified to do, being junior doctors, and that uh, there aren't enough uh, as senior doctors to support them. And uh, you heard earlier as well just uh, what the shocking pay is that they're, get, they're getting, and uh, they had wanted to be paid more to hedge against inflation, which uh, we believe is now in triple digits. Uh, so you study for six, seven years, uh, become a doctor, and you earn less than what a domestic worker would be earning here in South Africa. And that seems to be one of the biggest bones of contention uh, with the doctors at the moment. But we'll keep you up to date with that and other issues in our neighboring country.